This video explains how to draw a heat map like plot of categorical data using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines two to five of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right of our studio. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains 10 rows and the three columns X1, X2 and X3. And all of these columns contain categorical data. Now let's assume that we want to visualize this data set in a plot that looks almost like a heat map. Then we first need to reshape our data set from wide to long format. And I'm doing that based on the tidy R package. So for that reason, we first need to install and load the tidy R package, as you can see in lines seven and eight of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line eight. And after running this line of code, we can use the pivot longer function as you can see in lines 10 to 12. So in line 10, I'm first duplicating our data set because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. And then in line 11, I'm creating an ID column which contains an ID from one to the number of rows in our data set. And in line 12, I'm using the pivot longer function to create a long version of our data frame. So after running lines 10 to 12, this new data set data long is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data set, you can see that we have created a new data frame, which contains 30 rows. The first row is an ID column. The second column contains the names of the columns and the third column contains our categories. Now, based on this data set, we can now draw our data using the ggplot2 package. And for this, we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 14 and 15 of the code. I have installed this package as well. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 15. And then in the next step, we can use the ggplot function in combination with the geomtile function. And within the ggplot function, we need to specify our long data set. And then within the aesthetics, we need to specify the name column of our long data set, the ID column, and we need to set the filling of the cells in our plot to be equal to our value column. So after running lines 17 to 19 of the code, you can see that a new plot is appearing at the bottom right of our studio. This plot looks almost like a heat map. However, in this case, it's representing the different values in our categorical data set. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.